In this video, we will continue with integration of trigonometric functions. You will find this on page 528 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. And now you're going to see it's definite integration. Okay, so <clears throat> we're first going to integrate this. Okay, so don't forget the same as as soon as I say um, cos squared x, just like the previous example, and I'm not going to derive it now because it's 1 plus cos 2x. I'm just going to show you the previous play. <clears throat> so it's um, cos squared x, it's um, 1 plus cos 2x. It's coming from this. Okay, so let's just go on. So 1 plus, okay, now I'm going to mark, no, actually I didn't integrate it. I was just getting rid of, the, mm, sorry, I don't want to scratch it. I was just getting rid of this. Okay, and now I'm going to simplify. So this is going to be, I can, I can separately, but I think it's better that I put in this step and just say a half plus a half cos 2x plus sin 2x. Okay, so in this case, I'm just going to now, so this is going to become a half x. This is going to be, because of that 2, that's why the um, quarter, sin 2x. And now don't forget that sin becomes negative cos. Okay, so that's why it's going to be negative for um, half, okay, changing the sign, negative for half cos 2x. And now, I must make it a bit bigger. Okay, so there was the integration. <coughs> Straightforward. Now, I'm going to substitute this. Now, as soon as you see a third pi, uh, a half pi, a quarter pi, you have to think it's either going to special angles or I will use the graph. Okay, so we will use, usually if you see <coughs> pi or um, pi over 2 or even 0, then, then go, go for the graph. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to substitute. Every uh, I see x, I substitute. And then don't think everything will become zero because it's due to the graphs. It's not like this. I'll show you now. I didn't show you the graphs yet. So <clears throat> I substitute, I substitute, I substitute. I'm ending. So I have to actually draw both graphs to you in order to see that. Okay, let's, and, and you have to know that graphs. It's coming from chapter 4. You have to know your basic graphs. The more, the more um, you know the basic things, the easier the sums will be because it's quite challenging. I agree. Okay, so this is going to be my cos one, whereby this is 2 pi, the middle is pi, this is pi over 2, and then this is 3 pi. A oh, 3 pi over 2, doesn't matter. But the next one, so this is cos x. Then sin x, actually say y to make it more like an equation. <clears throat> now, it's, um, we can maybe draw another. Now, let's keep to red. Okay, so it's going to be like, and it's, it doesn't matter. As long as you, you do it more or less correct so that you can see where to plot the pi's and things. Okay, so again, this is going to be 2 pi. This is going to be pi. This is going to be um, pi over 2. And this is 3 pi over 2. And don't forget, this is 1. And this is negative 1. And this is 1. And this is negative 1. Okay, so now <clears throat> bring your special triangles in. Now, if I say in this case, okay, this one is just simplifying. But if I say sin, sin a third, sin, so sin is opposite over hypotenuse, and that's where I got that. Okay, cos a third, so cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, and then now, what is sin zero? Sin zero, it's there. Let me, yeah, you don't want to work. There, so it's going to be zero. Okay, so okay, that zero is for that, that zero is for that, but what is cos zero? Cos zero is one. 
Did you see that? And that is why. And then you're basically just going to simplify. So if as soon as you simplify, there's the only um, there's the pi. Let's just see if there's another one with um, pi. So um, I didn't put this step. I can maybe just rewrite it for you a little bit better. So it's one over twelve pi plus. No, let's get that correct. One over twelve pi plus. Uh, square root 3 over 8 minus a quarter, uh, that's 0, 0, so plus half. Okay. Okay, so basically, if I simplify this, just check the order is a little bit different here. So the first one, this is going to be 1 over 8, 3. There it is. Okay. And then it's 1 over 12 pi. There it is. And then a half minus a quarter is a quarter. And that's how I simplify it. Okay, let's continue. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one and three. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, number one. Let's start. Find the exact value, okay, and uh, that is going to be a half pi. And zero, so it's definite integration, and then it's sin 2x plus cos x dx. Okay, so if I'm going to integrate, okay, there's no, no square, so I can just directly go into integration. So sin, so what is sin going to be? Remember, sin is going to negative cos, so it's negative, and then a half cos. 2x plus what is cos? It's going to be sin x. And it's going to be a half by and zero. Okay. So it's negative a half cos 2 pi over 2 plus sin pi over 2. Okay. Minus don't think it's zero, don't think it's zero, because sin is zero at, at zero, but cos zero is one. So don't forget that. I'll leave the graphs there. Okay, so let's just continue. So it's minus a half cos, and then put your zero, plus sin zero. Okay, so it's negative a half cos, and now, this is over 1, so it's pi plus sin pi over 2 plus a half cos 0 minus sin 0. Okay, now this one you can basically just do with the graphs. Okay, so let's start. Minus a half. Now, what is cos pi? This is cos, remember. And pi, there's pi, so what is that? It's there, it's negative 1. Okay, the next one. What is sin? Oh no, you don't write sin. Sin pi over 2. So look at the sin. Where's pi over 2? It's there. So what is that going to be? That's going to be 1. What is uh, uh, cos? Keep the half. What is cos 0? Cos 0, look there. Cos 0 is 1. And what is sin zero? That is zero. And I simplify. And this is a half plus one plus a half. And that is going to give me on the dot two. That's how I do it. Let's do the next one. Okay, let's just move it a little bit. Let's look at number three. exact value of, okay, and now it's a third pi and zero, and it's going to be sin 2x plus 6 square x dx. Remember 6 square x? If you integrate, it's just going to be tan x. Not so difficult. Okay, so <clears throat> 6 square x is all right. It's cos square, sin square, and tan square that you have to bring in 
um, the trigonometry identities, but not this one is fine. Okay, so sin, so what is it? Remember, just sin goes to negative, so negative, and that of cos 2x. What is 6 squared x? That is just going to be tan x. And that is going to be to a third pi, and that is going to be 0. Okay, now I'm just going to substitute this. So basically, if I'm going to, I'm just going to, so it's a half cos. Now I'm going to substitute that thing, make it pi over 3, plus tan pi over 3, okay, minus, minus a half cos 2, 0, plus tan 0, okay. So, now I must bring in, so if you're not, <clears throat> I'm just going to redraw it for you. The special triangles. So, I see I need pi over 3. So, pi over 3, remember, this is actually 60. 6, 6, but it's pi over 3. And that is 30, and that's pi over 6. And that is 1, and that is 2, and that is square root 3. Okay. Now, this is very important, that you see that this is 2 pi over 3. Now, I can show it to you like this. Where is 2 pi over 3? I'm first going to show you the long way, and then I will also refer to a page. So, if you're thinking of the cos diagram, here is the cos diagram. Okay, so a third will be there. So, two, remember this is pi. So, two thirds will be in this quadrant. You have to know that. Okay, let's just get a pen. Okay, so there will. So a third will be here, but two thirds will be in this quadrant. Okay, don't forget your. Um, let's just get the pen correct. Post. So, so basically, you can work out a third. You can say, okay, cos pi over 3. What is cos pi over 3? Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. That is a half. But because it's in this quadrant, what is cos in this quadrant? It is going to be so cos, but cos 2 pi over 3 is going to be negative half. And if you go, and I'm going to write it here, if you go to um, special angles in the unit circle, on page 443 and you go to that circle you're going to see the 2 pi over 3 and then you're going to see there is standing um, minus a half and square root 3 over 2 and I said it's a good idea to memorize it but it's not really necessary the most important is you find to the x-axis, which is pi over 3. And then you just think, is it in quadrant 1, 2, 3, or 4, and what is the sign in that quadrant? But you can refresh your memory by going to page 4, 4, 3. Okay, so all I want, all I want, is you to have the correct answer. <clears throat> the correct answer, I said, is negative or half. Now, what is tan? Luckily, this is in quadrant 1. So tan is opposite over and that's square root 3 over 1. Okay, and then uh, plus, it's not necessary that I put that brackets. Let's leave it out. Let's just go plus, <clears throat> this is a half. Now, what is cos 0? So look again, there it is. <clears throat> if you're going to look, cos 0, there it's there. Let me just show you. Do you see? That's going to be 1. Okay, and my, it's actually minus, because there, so minus, what is tan zero? Now, if you cannot, you have to think of the graph again. But if you cannot, it's, it's also going to be zero. It's going up there. So, otherwise, just press on your calculator, tan zero, and you, you're going to see that it's zero. Okay, the same actually with cos, you can do, you also press it on the calculator. So, what is this going to be? This is going to be a quarter plus square root 3, plus half. That is what? 
Now you can simplify this by, by saying multiply 2, multiply 2. So that is going to be 3 quarters plus square root. Please, it's not multiply, so don't write it next to each other. It's separate. So it's 3 over 4 plus square root 3. That is your final answer.